Michael Tarver preparing himself for a pandemic not due to happen for another 10 years. Skip Sheffield and his discount Stone Cold Steve Austin outfit that says Cornfield Meathead. What kind of merch is this? I'm just saying, wearing the letter D on the front of your pants is not exactly... Well, I don't even know if that's PG. And then you went and were disqualified. With the amount of times Matt Stryker brings up the rookies humiliating themselves, I'm actually surprised that it took until the debut of the Nexus for them to kick his ass. Whether I win or lose, I will not lose. Michael Tarver is absolutely fucking useless just from saying that line alone. How has it taken forever for the first elimination to take place? David! Why does Matt Stryker keep choosing certain rookies to talk to but always ignores everyone else? Matt Stryker is an idiot. Like Cena, you defeated David Otunga. David Otunga somehow hasn't kicked Matt Stryker's ass for taunting him. Who in the hell decided to make Matt the damn host here? And, uh, you're talking about the Royal Rumble, right? Justin Gabriel thinks that every Battle Royal was a Royal Rumble match, apparently. Your very own entrance theme! Honestly, why doesn't each of the rookies already have their own entrance theme? Would make their entrances a lot more interesting to showcase their own character, rather than enter to the show's theme song. I'm just saying, music helps us connect with the wrestler, too. It's not a popularity contest. Matt Stryker is an idiot. He gives the fans the right to be the judges of this Talk to Talk challenge, but then declares that it's not a popularity contest. If it wasn't a popularity contest, then why would you give judging rights to the audience, you stupid dumbass? Grab a microphone! Um, Matt, there's literally only one microphone on the podium, so don't you mean grab the microphone? One to ten. Daniel. I'm just gonna throw in another five cents because Matt Stryker doesn't even let Daniel Bryan cut his promo and makes him waste the remaining time. Eight, seven. The clock was clearly at nine and eight when Daniel Bryan began the final countdown. He can't stay on topic, now he can't even count numbers. Please approach the podium. Yes, Matt, I shall indeed approach the podium. Whatever the hell that is supposed to be. Nothing about Wade Barrett that's blase. With an amazing 30 second promo like that, keeping on topic and putting himself over in all the right ways, Wade Barrett indeed deserved to win NXT. That was awesome. I kind of like the rose, which is an English uh, flower. I have face palms so hard that I could easily do a remake of the time Man Ray did that on SpongeBob when Patrick trolled the shit out of him over his wallet. Your topic, cereal. Matt Stryker probably should have been more specific because he could have either meant breakfast foods or cereal killers, and Heath Slater would end up cutting a killer promo. <laughs> See what I did there? And what kind of topic is cereal? That last sentence was the only logical thing to say in the entire 30 seconds that took place. 30 seconds I'll never get back. Sleep, who's got time for sleep? What? Sorry, I didn't listen to anything David Otunga was talking about. I was, uh, sleeping. Bad striker, what it do? Never thought I'd remove a sin for Skip Sheffield being hilarious and awkward while ignoring the topic of rainbows at the same time. But I've done weirder things. <laughs> Unnecessary podium moving. Toothpaste. What in the fuck is this competition supposed to be? Trying to get into the WWE or trying to win a talent show? Oh, wait, that's one of the same. What am I thinking? Bubblegum. There's all kinds. You got bazooka? The topic is bubblegum. That doesn't mean describe what kinds of bubblegum there are out there in the world. Could have gone in the direction of chewing up your opponents like bubblegum and spitting them out, but okay. When Skip Sheffield won that K carrying contest. My head is literally red from face palming it. Somebody help me, please. Win. I want to talk about the winds of change. Now that is how you cut a fucking promo and stay on the topic. 